So as we look up now, there is just a small sliver of the sun that is still visible, and we uh, will go oh, wow. through a small process here. Seconds before totality, we'll get some little flashes of light on yep. the outer edge of the, uh, the moon. And those will be Bailey's beads. Bailey's beads wow, yeah. there it is. Look at this. It's almost there. It's almost there. You can hear the crowd behind us cheering it on. <laughs> wow. So if you, uh, if, you, if you can look out a window, look at the color of the air around you. Everything is getting very flat gray. Yep. We are just seconds away from those Bailey's beads showing up. Then we will have what's known as the diamond ring, the last little glimpse of sun before totality. And when totality happens, you take your glasses off and hopefully through these cirrus clouds, we will be able to see the corona of the sun, which this is the only time you get to see yeah. the corona of the sun. So hopefully Jim, we get to like see you, it. I vaguely remember as a kid yeah. <laughs> taking this, and I certainly did not have an expert from NASA and an expert meteorologist, as I said, eclipse guru <laughs> standing next to me, walking me through it. Kind of tell me right now, what are we seeing? Well, there's just this little tiny orange sliver. That's all there is. And you can see it's it, this little tiny orange sliver, but, but Betsy's absolutely right. If you take the glasses off, don't go. look at the sun, but look around, the it's color is incredible. In. So, so remember the, the sun is 400 times larger in diameter than the diameter of the moon, yep. but the moon is 400 times closer, closer to Earth. It is geometric perfection. And we are right in this path. We have not been in the path of totality since 1806. And we won't yep. be again until what, 2400 something? 2444. <laughs> so, 2444. <laughs> Somewhere in Ohio in 2099. So right. only 75 more oh, years. Oh, okay. But, oh. but for Cleveland, it's 420 years, 2444. It's just absolutely amazing. Wow. It is, 312. And this is the most time. painful part of the whole process. <laughs> uh, this wait, and everybody's been waiting. Uh, oh, it is 313, so we are getting a totality just southwest of Cleveland. Totality has begun in Mansfield. We are seconds away from it here in downtown Cleveland. Yep. Here, we go. here we go. There's the crowd. Let's it listen is coming in. coming down. Oh, wow. And it is perceptibly getting there darker. There it is. The temperature's dropping. Wow. Oh, there it is. Yep, oh, just wait. Lord. Holy. It gets better. Oh, wow. Don't take your glasses wow. off yet. Not yet, not yet. There it is. Yes. Here we go. Oh, man. And there's Bailey's Beads. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Got it. We're in totality. Wow. There it is. <laughs> OK, we also have that Venus. The planet Venus is visible right now. Wow. Off to the bottom right. <laughs> Here on Earth, the street lights have come on. Yeah. All the street it lights the in downtown right Cleveland are on. In Look downtown at the horizon. Cleveland right you now. You can see the wow. edge of the shadow behind us, and there is so much, it's so much brighter to the oh, north. Oh, wow. Look at that. The I did not see this when I was a kid. <laughs> I, don't, I, I do not remember this either. Oh. <laughs> so we, this Look is this. just so stunning. So, so we can incredible. see the planet Venus. Jupiter is up here to the upper left of the moon. Yep. Yep. And if we were going to get to see that Diablo comet that Russ told us about earlier in the week, uh, last week, it would be to the right of Jupiter. I don't see it because of those cirrus clouds right now. Oh, but I'm going to take a photograph because... Please do. Have yeah. to. Now, I am also seeing, we're getting some Bailey's beads on the ends, which is kind of interesting. So we are in a solar yeah. maximum. The sun runs on an 11-year solar cycle, maximum and minimum. In 2017, oh, wow. when I was in Jefferson City, we did not have the solar maximum, but we still had this amazing view. Wow. This year, we're in a solar maximum. So <laughs> we are getting to see so much more energy coming out. And we may actually, that bottom, uh, you see that yep, little glimmer. That little glimmer at the bottom. And that very well could be a, a, a mass ejection, coronal mass ejection, or some kind of a solar sprite that is coming out of the, the sun right now. Yep. And we get to see it. And, and we got, we've got planes flying above the atmosphere, or above the, above the clouds and everything else. So we'll have people who may be able to tell us I don't know that for sure, but I will have people who may be able to tell us yes, we are. what's going on up there uh, and what we're seeing. Right. So. It, is, it is absolutely spectacular. And yes, uh, you can see now on the western horizon, we're already starting to yep. see the light coming. A little coming. bit of light, but it's getting darker to the east. But it's getting darker to the east. So we are right under it. You can see an entire ring of brighter skies, the yellow, all the way around us. 
and that only happens when you are right here that is in so the path of let, let me ask my two experts so here. How long are we going to be in this stage right here? Three minutes and 50 seconds. Yep. So we are we are counting down, and this is almost double the amount of time that I had in Jefferson City. Yep. Uh, so it is absolutely incredible. Now we turned out our ambient lights, and now we can see a little bit better some of that corona of the sun. And, and of course, the, the cirrus clouds are playing with things a little bit, but I mean, we get to see it. Oh man, do we get to see it? That is so. That's incredible. Somebody, it truly is incredible. You know, it's interesting. I was watching the network coverage of this, I guess, in Indianapolis when this happened, and the correspondent said, it seems like an eternity, and it does at this point. We thought this would be very quick, but is this this is a nice stretch here. It has been, yeah, and and we only have another minute or two left, but... Uh, it's already getting oh, brighter yeah, off, starting to get right off to the west. Sure. But, uh, but we still get to see Venus there, and, and, and Jupiter is actually shining a little bit brighter now, so, man. It, this is pretty 316.50. We are counting down. It's starting to get brighter and brighter yep. on our western yep. horizon. So again, you can see Venus to the lower right, Jupiter up here to the upper left. And I can't believe, Jimmy, that we get to see that that bright spots on the southern, or at least the bottom of that, the moon. Yeah, and that and it's and it stayed there the whole time. So it's. That's, that's going to be something interesting to see what exactly that, that is. And there's a yeah. lot of people watching this. Oh, thing. yeah. And going I was going to say, same thing. folks at home, listen, go in your backyard if it's safe. <laughs> Thanks for watching <laughs> us on TV. But go in your backyard and take a look at this once in a lifetime oh, event here we go. in Northeast Ohio. And here we go. We're coming out of it. Have here's your glasses on. Ring. <laughs> here we go. Diamond ring. Uh, and here is. come our Bailey's beads. That was the fastest three minutes and 50 seconds of my life. <laughs> but that and with, is the a, end of totality in Cleveland. Now the lights will start to come back on, yep. meaning the sun, the sun will begin shining again. Yeah. The city can, lights are going to be going out. You can already out. see it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing how quickly it got dark yes. when we hit totality yeah. and now, how amazing, uh, how quickly it got light again now that we're coming out of totality. If you look at something white and you're seeing odd like lines or something moving, you're actually seeing the atmosphere.